person going about his job delivering pizzas. Hey, I'm just delivering pizzas here. As he goes to the next location for delivery, there's no one there. Or is there? So he gets out of his car, but suddenly three people appear, pointing G's at him. And I kid you not, they grab him and lock a collar with a timing bomb to his neck. It's literally coming out of a movie. So then they gave him a note to rob a bank for them. If not, bomb goes kaboom. They also gave him a shotgun modified like a walking cane. Here's the picture. This is way too far fetched. So the pizza dude goes to the assigned bank, slips the teller a note to hand him over $250,000 or the bomb would kaboom. But she didn't have that type of money that day, so she gave him around $8,000 and he leaves. In his notes, he is now supposed to go to a nearby McDonald's where near a rock there's a new note telling him to head over to a new location. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't the initial Bruh. note have the next location? Why even bother? What if some kid found Bruh. the note near McDonald's? Then what? So Pizza Man gets the note and then drives away towards the new location. But in the meantime, Bank Teller called the cops, told them what happened, so they went looking for him. So police people finally catch up to Pizza Man. And then... No more Pizza Man. Because this is an unusual case, FBI people gets involved. And then after some announcements, they get contacted by this new fella, let's call him W. W tells them that the mastermind behind the whole thing was this lady, let's call her M. W tells that previously, W paid him to poison her boyfriend and put him in a freezer. So the FBI is like, eh, okay, so let's check this out. So they find the boyfriend's body in W's freezer, just like he told them. So they then go and they arrest Lady M. But now she claims she's innocent from the pizza man thing. Now six months go by, W dies and Lady M suddenly decides she wants to cooperate with the FBI, thinking that maybe they'll lighten her sentence. So now she blames her boyfriend, you know, the one stuck in the freezer. He was the one. But then, this other random fella, let's call him B. B already was in jail for an unrelated drug charge and was W's cellmate. And then out of nowhere he says, Hey, I know who's the mastermind. It wasn't Lady M's boyfriend, it was Lady M. W just built the whole thing. Bruh. You know, the one that passed away from cancer? He says he was the one that did the whole bomb thing and the cane. It was like an engineer or something. But Lady M, she was the one that orchestrated the whole thing. She did it. And the pizza man, he was in on it too. Pizza man was like, hey, I want my cut too. The bomb is fake, right? Uh, right. No worries. So Lady M goes on trial for the whole thing and gets life. 